The Deluge Centrepiece was originally commissioned for John Makepeace, the furniture designer, and it was commissioned for his 20-foot long ash dining table. So the flowing nature of the chasing complements the ripple in the ash. The curator of the Goldsmiths Company saw the first deluge dish and then they decided to commission a similar centrepiece for their modern collection. In my design process, I mainly visualise the texture or the, the feeling of the piece I want to create and then work to try and create that, first in drawings and then in templates for the actual silver. A piece like the deluge centrepiece would start off like this pieces set in this pitch tray here. Pitch is a, a tar-like substance which support the metal when I'm chasing it, so I like to use quite soft pitch because it allows the silver to be manipulated into very deep curves and it would be flat chased with very wide punches to get relief into the silver and then it would be chased from both sides about three or four times to get that high relief. I would then work with nylon and wooden tools and formers to create more depth around the edges of the piece. And that's how Deluge really gets its flowing quality. So now I'm going to be using a bold chasing tool, which is rounded and polished, and a very heavy hammer. And this makes a really soft but bold line on the silver, which is part of my signature style of chasing. So these are some slightly smaller chasing tools which I've made myself from tool steel and they're a kind of a medium size to blend in the wider lines with finer ones. These two tools are very fine chasing tools which are in two slightly different shapes. So these tools I call faceting or planishing tools and they create a facet on the fine lines. I do take inspiration from water in my work. I love the flowing nature of it and just how it makes your eye feel relaxed when, when looking at something that's inspired by water. I really like working with silver because it can be really stretched and manipulated to such an extent that it completely changes its form and it's also really reflective so it reflects 98% of light which makes it the perfect material for representing water. The deluge centrepiece is made from fine silver which is 99.9% .9 silver and so it's very soft and it can be hammered and work hardened to make it harder but I like to use fine silver because of the way you can manipulate it into very high relief. And Britannia and sterling silver tend to be harder, so they're used for different things, more functional things. Some of the pieces I make I intend to be used, but some of them are merely sculptural, so the initial inspiration it doesn't really consider the fact that they might be used. It's more about the design and how that design comes to life in, in a space. When I'm working on certain commissions, I really prefer to be undisturbed in my workshop because it allows me to really go into the piece in a meditative way and, and really get into the feel of what I'm trying to create. And the techniques I use are very physical. There's heavy hammering and sometimes with engraving, it's intense silence. So it's really nice to, to get into that meditative state. A piece like the Deluge Centrepiece would probably take between four to six months to make. 